the one thing that's always been difficult here is that this has never been about politics for me. It's always been about history. And sometimes you have a, a difficult time relaying that to someone. Obama's family's roots reach deep into central Indiana. Soon, an old farmhouse near Kempton in Tipton County may serve as a living tribute to the president's ancestors. Jean, the president's mother, Ann Dunham, was born and raised in Kansas, but her grandfather moved there from Indiana. And a historic preservationist is now at work reconstructing some of the Obama family history here. Somebody had knocked on the door. It was an elderly lady, and she stopped by and wanted to know if I was, you know, going to restore the house. She said the, the guy who built this place was a very important man. Um, you should probably look that up. This is a copy of a land grant that shows the property was settled by Jacob Dunham in 1840. Jacob Dunham is Barack Obama's great, 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 great grandfather. He is one of 11 Obama ancestors buried here at the Kempton Cemetery. If I would not have taken the time to restore this place, it would not be here. You know, I don't want to look back on this, you know, 20, 30 years from now and say, well, I wish I would have done something with this. And, and find out that something has happened to the house that has destroyed the history of it or whatever. I mean, I, I, I take it very seriously that there is a history of a president involved. Owner Sean Clements established a one-acre garden this year, much like the community garden that the First Lady planted at the White House. It's well known that candidate Barack Obama visited here in 2008, and Clements believes it's politics that prompted some organizations to turn down donations and others to reject invitations to volunteer in the garden. You have the history of the first African-American president here. That's the way things are. It's it's just not a certain one way anymore. It's a multicultural country, and this is a multicultural history here. I'm sorry it may not be the history you prefer, but it doesn't make it any less important. Clement says he has endured resistance, vandalism, and racism as he tries to establish a nonprofit foundation to rebuild the 19th century landmark. He has no plans to give up. When I first bought the house, this was my home and it stopped being my home a while back. This is what's gonna define me. This is what I'm gonna be remembered for. Every time I work on this house, it's never far from me that this is a part of a presidential history and I have to put my best foot forward on it.